Hello and welcome everybody. Thank you for being here so far. I'm really happy with the milestone we reached into our series. So we had a lot of fun dealing with all the components of Symphony. We played around with the crude operation and we did a lot really of good and amazing stuff. And now I think you are ready to put another gear on and move to a bit more advanced feature. Don't be afraid. It's not really hard. It's not difficult. Just follow me along and you will enjoy this thing. And this topic is the events on Symphony. We will be discovering the event dispatcher and event listener. We'll be comparing them and play around with them as always. Okay, to give you a preface, we'll give you a general idea why we have this kind of events on symphony let me just read you this example i really like it from the symphony website okay let me just drag this one and let's consider the real world example where you have or you want to provide a plugin system for your project a plugin should be able to add a method or do something before or after a method is executed Without interfering with other plugins, this is not an easy problem to solve with single inheritance. So, and even if multiple inheritance was possible with PHP using trade, for example, trade, I mean trade by this, TRIT, okay, then it comes with the own draw drawbacks. So, we will jump and we are run into a big problem of maintaining our code and keep things clear and easy. So, right here, the Symphony Event Dispatcher and Component implement a mediator and observer design patterns. So, observer may be a familiar password, keyword actually, if you are familiar with RxJS and the Rx pattern in JavaScript and Node, etc. Okay, so these are design patterns to make all these things possible to make your project truly extensible. So take an example from the HTTP kernel component. Once a response object has been created, it may be useful to allow other element in the system to modify it. Added some cache to the headers, for example, then before it's actually used to make this possible. The symphony kernel throw an event. This is the key. It will be using this later. Here is how it works. So this is really self-explanatory and it's amazing three points that explain the integrity of this system. So a listener, which is a PHP object, for instance, tell a central dispatcher object that it wants to listen to a kernel response event. Okay. Then the next thing is added or at some point the symphony kernel tell the dispatcher object to dispatch the kernel response event, passing with it an event object that has access to the response object in question. The third point, the dispatcher notify, for example, aka calls a method on, all listeners that are subscribed to this kernel response event, allowing each of them to make modification or read from it or display any content, right? So these three lines does really explain it all. And let's go ahead and see how to implement these listeners.